International Conference on Agriculture and Forestry. Uh, molecular and pathogenic diversity of the coastal agents of onion leaf twisted disease in particular district Sri Lanka. First, we will move on to introduction. Red onion is one of the most important cash crop grown in Batikalo district Sri Lanka and throughout the tropical world. Uh, it is a general practice farmers in Batikalo in Sri Lanka cultivate onion as a monoculture repeatedly in the same farm field throughout the year. Therefore, it provides conducive condition for the development of significantly, uh, significantly important diseases. Uh, diseases. The leaf twister disease is the major disease causes considerable real loss in the onion field. Since 1970, leaf twister disease has been reported from many onion fields in Sri Lanka. Leaf twister disease symptoms are curling, twisting and chlorosis of leaves, abnormal elongation of serostem, production of small bulb and bulb rot, less development of root system followed by death of plant. Collectotrichum gliosporioids and fusarium oxysporum has been reported as causal organism of leaf twister disease. The genera Collectotrichum and fusarium are a complex group of fungi in terms of morphological and pathogenic variations. Both contain many species comprised of pathogens, endophytes and saprophytes. Accurate information in terms of pathogenicity and molecular variation highly useful for effective disease management measures in terms of fungicide application and breeding of <coughs> resistant varieties. The objective of the study is to determine molecular and pathogenic variations among the isolate of collectotrichum and fusarium associated with leaf twister disease infected red onion collected from Baticolor district Sri Lanka. Next we will move on to materials and methods. Laboratory experiments were carried out at Plant Pathology and Microbiology Laboratory, Department of Agricultural Biology, University of Peradeniya. Plant House experiments were done at Agricultural Biotechnology Center, University of Peradeniya. Isolation of fungi, disease specimens were collected from four locations in Baticolor district. Uh, organisms are isolated from three portions of uh, disease plant, leaves, pseudostom and bulb of leaf twister disease plant. After series of subculturing, pure culture of collectotrichum and fusarium were grown on PDA medium supplemented with streptomycin and ampicillin. The experiment number one, determination of pathogenic variation. Here pot experiments were carried out with red onion variety whale island. Pots having diameter of 13 cm and height of uh, 16 cm filled with sterile soil. In test one, sets of pots were inoculated with pathogens only, pathogens separately and controlled their plant uh, pots did not inoculate with pathogens. All pots were arranged according to the complete randomized designs with six replicates. Methods of inoculation of pathogens. Spore suspension was applied as soil drench. Concentration of spore suspension was 1 into 10 to the power 5 spores per milliliter. 10 milliliter of spore suspension was applied to each of the pot uh, before planting the bulb. Data collection, two parameters were measured, percentage of infected leaves and number of days taken to develop symptoms uh, to measure the disease severity. Second experiment is the molecular study, extraction of DNA. The genome DNA was extracted from 7 to 8 days of old fungal cultures purified by DNA extraction protocol, protocol described by CTAP method. Quality and quantity of the DNA were assessed by the uh, nanospectrometer and uh, gel electrophoresis. The samples were diluted in the final concentration below 500 nanogram per microliter for PCR amplification. In PCR amplification, ITS 5.8 ITS region was amplified by using universal primer ITS1 and ITS4 for collector TKM isolates and ITS2 RDNA region was amplified by using FQ1F and FQ1R primers for fusarium isolates. PCR reaction were performed in the total volume of 50 microliter. The solution contained template DNA, forward primer, reverse primer, master mix and nucleus free water. The similar uh, PCR condition, two different PCR condition were applied for collector and fusarium species uh, during 40 cycles. 
After PCR amplification, PCR product were digested with the restriction enzyme RASA1, HE3 and MSP1. The products and their restriction fragment were separated on 1% and 3% of acros gel with 100%, 100 base pair DNA size marker respectively. The size of DNA bands were estimated by comparison against a 100 base pair DNA size marker. Uh, data were analyzed by variance using SAS package mean separation by LST. Results and discussion. Uh, morphologically different 6 collector decum and 7 fusarium isolates were isolated from uh, disease specimens. Uh, here is the interesting thing is that 84% of fusarium isolates were isolated from onion bulb and 77% of collector decum isolates were isolated from leaves of the disease plant. This figure shows uh, morphologically different collector decum isolates. Here you can see upper and reverse side of colony appearance and their respective spores. Uh, here some uh, isolates show dark in color in their reverse side. This figure shows uh, morphologically different fusarium isolates. Here also you can see upper and reverse side of more colony appearance and their respective spores. Here B01, B02 and B010 produce macro and microconidia and others produce only the microconidia. Uh, determination of pathogenic variation, here when the plants were inoculated with uh, different pathogens, uh, leaf uh, the symptoms of leaf, leaf twister disease were developed at different intensities uh, by all the isolates at different days after inoculation. Here the plants were inoculated with collectotricum isolate, showed uh, twisting of leaves followed by chlorosis of leaf, abnormal elongation of stem. Uh, and uh, poor formation of bulb. When the plants were inoculated with fusarium isolate, showed uh, slightly twisting of leaves, followed by chlorosis of leaf, uh, abnormal elongation of stem, and uh, rotting of bulb. This figure shows here the, there is a significant difference present among collectoticum isolates on percentage of infected leaves. Here, B13 and B6 showed a higher percentage of infected leaves. There is no significant difference present among uh, fusarium isolates on percentage of infected leaves. Uh, here is a number uh, significant di difference present among collectoticum isolates on number of days taken to develop symptoms. Here B13 showed uh, lower percentage of number of days taken to develop symptoms and previously the B13 showed higher percentage of infected leaves. Therefore B13 is a more virulent strain among collectoticum isolates. Uh, there is no, there is a significant different present among fusarium isolate on number of days they were taken to develop symptoms. The onion variety whale island did not show resistant to any of the collectoderm or fusarium isolates. There is no symptom developed uh, in control plants. Variation of aggressiveness of different collectoderm and fusarium isolates when determining the Severity of leaf twister disease development by two assessment method in terms of number of days taken to develop symptoms and percentage of infected leaves. This is an agreement with the results reported by many researchers on comparative virulence of isolates of a range of fungal pathogens. Molecular and path pathological information would be highly useful to modify chemical based management measures and develop crop improvement program for leaf twister disease pathosystem. In molecular variation, all collectoticum isolates resulted uh, expected size PCR product of 590 base pair. In PCR RFLP profile, there is two polymorphic group present, uh, B3, B4, B6, B8, B11 is the one group and B13 is the another group. Uh, this result showed that there is a significant, there is a genomic variation present among collectoticum isolates. In fusarium, uh, all fusarium isolates resulted in expected size PCR product of 466 base pair. Uh, in the PCR RFLP profile, show the same banding pattern for all three uh, restriction enzymes. Therefore, there is no significant difference, uh, there is no genomic variation present among, uh, the, among the isolates of fusarium. 
the used primer sets were successful in amplifying the expected size PCR product. A reasonable level of genomic variation could be identified when the PCR RRP was done with RASA1, MSV1, and HA3. The conclusion, finding of the present study revealed that molecular and pathogenic variations exist among different isolates of collectotrichum, and pathogenic variation only exists among fusarium isolates infecting red onion in particular district of Sri Lanka. I would like to thank University Grants Commission for their financial assistance. These are my references which I used for this study. <laughs>